Midtown Detail is known for its natural looking sharpening effect, however it's also commonly used to soften skin. Let's have a look at both examples. In the first shot I want to use it to soften the skin. I designed the Midtone Detail plugin that it just works straight out of the box, so I can decrease the amount and as you can see we smooth up the edges of her skin just a little bit. I will zoom in to make it a little bit more obvious. So we can play around with the slider even more. Let's have a look. This is before and this is after. Again, before and after. But sometimes you need to control what the plugin actually targets. To do that, go into masking and view mask. As with every mask, white reveals, black conceals. If we want to soften her skin, we should include a little bit more of the shadows. So I'll drag the shadows down a bit and I think I will decrease the roll off. As you can see, now more of her face is included. I will go out of the mask mode and let's have a look. Yeah, much better, but we don't need that amount anymore. I will turn it back up, maybe around negative, negative 25 or something. Yeah, I think you can get away with that. Next, let's have a look at an example where we actually want to increase the midtone detail. I will just drop the plugin and increase the midtone detail. Have a look how these tools come to life here. This is before, this is after. I will zoom in just a bit. This is before, this is after. As you can see in the background, this shot is quite noisy. Assuming this makes its way through YouTube compression, so I might zoom in a little bit more, and as you can see, here is all of the noise. We increased the midtone detail quite a considerable amount. This is before, this is after, and you can see that nothing of the grain got amplified by sharpening it.